Here's my E7 chord in open position, and if I increase each note by a half step, then I get the movable form. I'm gonna move that up to the fifth fret, where it's a little easier to play. And you'll notice my pinky is just kind of hanging out. Well, I'm gonna use that to create some embellishments on those top two strings. Now, when I'm playing a dominant seven chord, I actually, most of the time, will prefer this version. I call it the common fingering on page 141. I like it because it sounds a little bit tighter to me. It's way easier for me to play. And it's just omitting the extra fifth and extra root note that are found in this voicing. Here's your A7 in open position, and then here's that movable form you can take around with its root note on the A string. There are three different blues chord progressions on page 141, and if you start them with an E string root on your one chord, your four and five will be played with A string roots. If you start with a, an A string root, then your four and your five will be on the E string. 